how to assemble and use the Ronin SC focus motor. Insert the M4 screws into the focus motor's mounting unit. Insert the rod into the focus motor's mounting unit and tighten the screw. Align the screws of the mounting unit with the M4 screw holes on the camera riser and tighten. Attach the camera riser to the camera and tighten the screws. Align the screw of RSS splitter with the M4 screw hole on the mounting unit and tighten. Attach the camera quick release plate to the camera riser and tighten the two screws on the bottom of the plate. Align the lock knob of the lens support with the M4 screw hole on the camera quick release plate. Adjust the length of the lens support and tighten the knob. Align the gear strip on the focus ring and adjust the ring to ensure a tight fit around the camera lens. Adjust the gear strip's position on the same horizontal level. Loosen the knob on the focus motor and attach the motor to the rod. Ensure the gear strip on the focus ring is engaged with the gear on the focus motor and then retighten the knob. Mount the camera and finish balance adjustment. Connect RSS splitter to the power port of the focus motor and the camera control accessory port for power and communication. Ensure that the splitter is connected to the roll axis motor. Connect the shutter cable to the RSS splitter port and the camera port to control the camera. Press and hold the power button on the gimbal to power on Ronin SC and the focus motor. Press the focus wheel button twice to start calibrating the focus motor If the focus motor LED shows solid green, the calibration is finished and the focus wheel can be used. Press and hold the focus wheel button and the rolling direction of the focus motor can be changed. If you want to set the movement within a specific range, first set point A and press the focus wheel button once to record the position, and then set point B and press the focus wheel button once to record the position, setting the movement range. Press the focus wheel button again to cancel this range. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching.